On the next Canine Corner, Happy New Year, we'll be talking about some ways you and your canine companion can start 2017 off on the right paw. And we'll learn about how aromatherapy can benefit your dog. Plus, we'll tell you how you can give this guy a forever home. All this coming up on the next Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Intertanich, your host for Canine Corner, the show that your dog will give two paws up. I'm here with my co-host Popeye Tertanich, and today we'll be talking about starting the new year off on the right paw. We have some great New Year's resolutions for you and your dog. Plus, we'll tell you about a line of aromatherapy products for dogs. But first, let's meet some adorable rescue dogs who are looking for their forever homes. So this is Tula. Tula's seven years old. She's house trained. She's a good little dog. She, we rescued her from the Central California shelter on her last day. So um, she's a great little dog. She's in foster care right now, along with five other dogs. And she's a happy little girl. I actually think Tula could be in a home with a lot of dogs, with children with um, an older, and just about anything. Really, Tula is really versatile. She gets along really, she's a happy girl. She walks, um, I walked her this morning for an hour and a half. So she can do exercise if you want to, or she can be laid back. She's getting used to car rides. <laughs> when we rescued her from the shelter, she would have been euthanized if we didn't bring her out that day. And she's, she's worth saving. This little girl's worth saving. This is Kingsley. Kingsley is a three and a half year old fawn horse coat male. That's your most common coat. Um, he is not great with other dogs. He should be the only dog in the home, but he will be incredibly loyal. He probably would be a good running dog. He is uh, a little bit head shy and nervous around new things. So he'd do best in a home without a lot of visitors and in and out. Um, he is crate trained. He knows some basic obedience and uh, he's just a really loving dog. So this is Bunny. We call her Honey Bunny. She's a Dogo Argentino mix. Uh, she's four, five years old. Uh, she's a mother of 12 puppies. She loves to run, play in the pool, loves children. Oh my God, I can't emphasize that enough. Loves all her toys, loves her human. She's very playful very much a lap dog. Uh, we've had her in the rescue about three years now. She's stuck in boarding. Uh, we would love to be able to find her a forever home. She's an amazing dog. Um, the longer she's in boarding, the more her issues with dogs are gonna prolong. So the sooner we get her into a home, the better she will be. With the right handler, she will be able to be integrated with other dogs. Um, I'm not sure how she is with cats. Little dogs, no, no, but I, I can't say enough about her. She's just awesome. She's got to be one of the most loving dogs I've ever met. She is our seven-year-old pit bull mix. She's very rambunctious, has a mind of her own, <laughs> as you can see. Um, not real great with other dogs, definitely no cats. Children make her very anxious, so no children. She suffers from anxiety, so she would have to be in a home or somebody's home all the time. She's normally pretty low energy once she calms down. She's just a little amped up right now. Needs to be the only animal in the house. No children, loves bye-bye rides. All the dogs here that you saw love to go bye-bye rides. She doesn't like the water. She hates the water. She, like the other three, other two are in boarding. So her issues, the longer she's in boarding, the longer it's gonna take. She's uh, housebroken, believe it or not. Even though she's in boarding, she's housebroken. She doesn't, she's not a chewer. She's not toy motivated. She's not treat motivated. In all honesty, she would rather just sit next to you on a couch and just chill. That's really much all she wants to do. A good walk maybe once or twice a day, and she's done. She scares easy. Uh, she was sent for training and she was abused. So she doesn't do well with, with uh, stern voicing. It scares her. She came back with scars on her face from being beat up. Um, but other than that, she's just, she's absolutely awesome. She really, she's truly awesome. She just needs a good home. 
If you were interested in adopting any of these dogs, give us a call at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentca.gov and we can put you in contact with the rescue group. Those dogs are so adorable. New Year's resolutions are tough to keep, so why not have your canine companion help you start 2017 off on the right paw? Popeye and I are gonna give you some tips to help you and your dog have a great year. There are so many ways that you can improve you and your dog's quality of life, and the new year is a great time to make that happen. We'll be talking about diet and nutrition, exercise, and strengthening the bond between you and your dog. Diet and nutrition is a great place to start because with a few simple, easy changes, you can improve your dog's health. One thing that you can do is to make sure that your dog is eating an age-appropriate and diet-appropriate food type. You should, of course, check with your dog's vet before changing his food. Another thing that you can do is to make sure that you're using a measuring cup or a scoop to feed your dog. Sometimes we pour the food directly into the bowl and we don't wanna do that because we don't know exactly how much food our dog is getting. We might be overfeeding him, we might be underfeeding him. So using a scoop like this one lets you know exactly how much your dog is eating. Another thing to remember going into the new year is to make sure you're washing your dog's bowls. Sometimes it's easy to forget to wash your dog's bowls when you feed him in the morning, you're running out the door. You don't wanna do that. Make sure you're washing the bowls. So either put a post-it note on your refrigerator or your bulletin board to help you remember. Exercise is a great one because taking a walk with your dog can not only strengthen the bond between you and your dog, but it can also provide health benefits for the both of you. If you're not into walking, that's totally okay. Earlier this year, we did a segment about working out with your dog and featured some great exercises that you can do from the comfort of your own home. Take a look. So in addition to running and walking with your dog or as an alternative to, in case your dog is an older dog or maybe not a very active breed, or if you just don't like leaving your house like sometimes Popeye and I don't, there are some workouts you can do at home. All you'll need is your yoga mat, a towel, a bottle of water, and of course, your most loyal workout partner, your dog. Let's give some of these exercises a try. Now the first exercise we're gonna do happens to be my favorite because you get rewarded after every rep and I love positive reinforcement. You're gonna start in an upright plank and then you're gonna go down into a modified plank and then back up again. And after you complete each one, have your canine companion slash your workout buddy give you a kiss. Let's give it a try. Now, if your workout partner's anything like mine, he will have probably kicked you off the mat at this point. But that's all right. Okay, so we start like this, keeping our core tight. We go down and then back up. Popeye, give me a kiss. Thank you. So the next workout we're gonna do is called paw ups. This will give your canine companion a chance to get a little active and get him working those arms. So you're gonna start facing your dog, have him in sit position. You're gonna go and do a reverse lunge, shake, Good boy. Then you're gonna switch legs. Shake and have him shake with the other paw. <gasps> shake. Good boy. These are Popeye's favorite. Oh, the other paw. Good boy. <gasps> shake. Good boy. So another great exercise you can do with your dog at home, especially if your dog is toy driven like Popeye is, Sit on the edge of a chair or a bench. You're gonna extend, Popeye stay. You're gonna extend your left leg out in front of you and go down for one, two, three, four, five. Take your dog's favorite toy, give it a toss. Come here, Popeye. Come on. Come here. Can I have that? Thank you. Then you're gonna switch legs if your dog will let you. Popeye is a little, little eager right now. Then you're gonna extend your right leg and go down for one, two, three, four, five. Take his toy again, give it a toss. Come here, Popeye. Popeye, come on. <gasps> Drop it, please. Thank you. You can repeat this 15 to 20 times on each leg depending on how much exercise you and your dog wanna get. Popeye here wants to get a lot, so we're gonna go again. I love stretching. It's probably my favorite part of working out, but Popeye here also loves to stretch. He won't do it after a workout, but when he does do it in the morning, he'll walk out and stretch out his hips, or he'll, he'll do like a downward dog type of yoga pose but I don't force it during the day because he prefers to do it in the morning. I, however, like to stretch 
usually stretching out my legs like this, holding it for at least 20 seconds. And during that time, just because your dog's not working out, you can talk to them, pet them, give them treats like I do for Popeye. But it's really important to get that stretch in in order to lengthen your muscles. And personally, I just feel really good after a workout. I always do a butterfly one as well, and it just kind of enhances the workout a little bit more. Right, Popeye? Whether you've recently adopted a new dog or have had your best buddy for a long time, it's important to strengthen the bond between you and your dog. Let's talk about a few ways you can do that. One of the easiest ways is to take a photo of your dog every day. With cameras on our phones now, it's so easy to just snap a pic of your dog every morning or every night, and it really is something fun to sort of look back on at the end of the year. Another thing that you can do is to pay more attention to your dog's body language. You can either read about dog body language online or just be a little bit more perceptive when you're interacting with your dog. It'll help you guys strengthen your bond and it may even help with training. Another thing that you and your dog can do is to make new friends together. Whether you're going to the dog park or joining a meetup group, your dog will make new friends and you can make new friends as well. The last thing that you and your dog can do, and probably the most important in terms of New Year's resolutions, is kicking bad habits together. Whether you're digging holes in the backyard like somebody, or binging on Netflix, having your dog help you kick a bad habit and vice versa will make it that much easier. Keep us in the loop about how your New Year's resolutions are going by using hashtag Canine Corner New Year. We're gonna take a short break, but don't go anywhere. There's much more dog on fun when we come back. What's up, yo? My name is Apple D. from the Black Eyed Peas, and you know there's a lot of pain in this world. I lost two brothers, so I know. I know when we're in pain, the best thing to do is reach out. Reach out to those who are willing to show compassion, ease our pain, and help us to become whole again. Call the LA County Department of Mental Health at 1-800-854-7771. We can be stronger together. Your son wants to get a cat, really but you're allergic. Do you A, prepare yourself, B, make the best of it, C squared equals 25. Good job! Or C, find a loophole. When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers, but that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. Welcome back to Canine Corner. I'm your host, Rhiannon Trutanich. The Noble Pet Company is a SoCal-based business that offers aromatherapy products for pets. Take a look. Noble Pet Company was born out of a desire to share aromatherapy and its benefits with pets. We uh, wanted to do a line of aromatherapy uh, products for pets and incorporate them to their lives. The aromatherapy patches that we actually carry were originally catered to humans only. Um, so we brought that into the dog line and from there that, that spiraled the other products that we have. Noble Pet Company came from Tess Burns and her aunt Lisa Burns wanting to provide their own pets with natural products. Because my aunt uh, Lisa Burns, she started INV and that was all natural products. She came up with that recipe herself and that's what, and, and she came up with a line of products for grooming um, by herself uh, in the past 15 to 20 years. How do we, you know, incorporate this into our dog's lives, uh, personally, our, our own dogs, you know? Um, how do we take our dog outside without having to spray them down? Because our, our dogs have a lot of long hair and stuff like that, so um, we really wanted to make this useful for us, and in turn, we found that it was really useful for everybody else. Noble Pet Company offers a variety of products, ranging from sprays to patches to balms, and you can assure all are safe for your pets because they're safe for you too. The paw balm and the nose balm, I mean, the nose balm, I use as chapstick sometimes because it's its just soothing and it's all natural and, and stuff like that. So it, to me, if it's safe enough for me to use, I want to give it to my dog. And in an environment filled with chemicals, providing your pet with some natural relief can have beneficial effects. So the benefits are that, mostly that they're staying away from toxic chemicals. So we put so many chemicals in our daily lives. We use them on carpet cleaner, on, you know, Febreze. We, we put all these things, we're inhaling them and our dogs are closer to the floor and they're inhaling them constantly. So uh, what we wanted to do was uh, stay away from those. And the benefit is that you're using the 
products of nature to protect your dog from fleas, from insects. You know. The Noble Pet Company uses natural oils and holistic ingredients to help with everything from repelling insects to calming stress pets. And with the At Peace, we know so many anxious dogs, so many dogs that are you know, afraid of fireworks, are afraid of new people in the home, and again, a lot of people resort to medication. And instead of medication, we wanted to use something all natural that's gonna bring them down, soothe them. And for those pet parents who might be concerned about trying an aromatherapy product for their pets, there's nothing to worry about. Aromatherapy isn't going to be absolutely 100%. It's not a, you know, one size fits all. It's not gonna be, you know, the same reaction for every single, you know, dog. Um, it's never going to be a bad reaction. I can, I can show you that. Um, it is all natural, so it's not, you know, anything that's going to make your dog sick or if they lick their, themselves when they have, you know, the sprays on, it's not going to hurt them at all. Um, but I can understand the apprehension in the sense that it doesn't look like you can get 100% results, but I really truly believe in the product and I really truly believe in the power of nature and how much it can help you. And when you look at the history of how much we've used, you know, natural products in, in our daily lives and how much they've helped us, um, I think that it's, it just, it only makes sense that it would, you know, work for your dog. And for Tess, helping animals is what Noble Pet Company is all about. To be able to give my dog and any dog a product that they're happy to use, but also, you know, helps them in the long run. It helps me. It makes everyone's life easier. I think that's the best part is hearing how much um, it really helps you know, another animal. If you would like more information about Noble Pet Company or to purchase their products, please visit noblepetcompany.com. Now that we know a little about the Noble Pet Company, let's learn about the products they offer. What aromatherapy products does Noble Pet Company offer? Mainly aromatherapy products, the essential oil-based um, aromatherapy patches and the spray that I usually recommend to go along with it. Um, the patches are really cool because they have um, essential oils in them. They have little micro capsules that have essential oils in them. The Shield Me specifically has uh, lemongrass, cedarwood, um, citronella, and all those work together to re repel insects. Anything with an exoskeleton essentially. Um, and all you do is you just you peel one off, you press it down, and you pop the little micro capsule, and then you stick it on your dog's collar. And that should last about 60 hours. Wow. Yeah. So when is the ideal time to use these? Is it out on a walk or in the backyard, more at home? When's the best time? I think out on a walk, definitely. Um, if you keep your dog outside, um, I would definitely say, you know, kind of putting one on them while they're out there. Um, if you're gonna be out, you know, for the day and you're gonna leave them in the backyard. Um, hiking, camping, I mean, I love camping. Um, I stick one of these on the dog and, you know, whenever we go on a hike or anything like that, or while we're out there in general. Um, and then. The spray, I always think, is a good accessory because you can actually spray them down and it's not going to hurt them at all. You can spray the dog directly. Wow. Um, you can spray their crate. You can spray their outside bedding. Wow. Um, anything that, you know, is going to be exposed to the elements outside. Aside from Shield Me, are there sprays and patches in other scents? The thing that we have is going to be the At Peace. Um, we have those in our aromatherapy patches, but we also have them in the aromatherapy spray. Um, the patches are awesome because you can just stick them on the collar like you can do with the Shield Me. Um, these ones have lavender, chamomile, and bergamot. Um, so you just press them onto their harness, their collar. Um, you can put it onto their crate or anything like that um, on the way to the vet. Uh, any, anywhere that they're actually anxious, you know, when there's people inside or if, you know, it's 4th of July or something like that. Um, the spray is great as well because you can spray down their bedding and you can spray down their, you know, your car seat or um, you can actually spray them directly. Like I said, if, wow. if they're kind of nervous about sprays then you can just spray your own uh, palm and then just kind of like rub it on their muzzle. Mm -hmm. And um, we like to spray it on, or we suggest to spray it onto the the bedding every night. And once you take them out of that element, and let's say you have to take them to the vet or the groomer and they're really nervous, you spray that on them or you spray it on the car seat, and they associate that smell with their bed and safety and comfort. And it's kind of that Pavlovian response. And it's, you know, um, good for them and it makes them smell good. and. <laughs> now they feel a little bit better about whatever they're doing. Does Noble Pet Company have a product to help with hot spots? 
And there's one more spray here, which yes. is this one. Um, so this spray is going to be the Royal Spot Spray. That's going to be a hot spot spray. Um, this one has witch hazel, glycerin, um, colloidal silver, and all of those are going to help to take hot spots, dry them, but also cool and soothe them. Wow. And everything in there is uh, natural, vegan. You know, um, if your dog looks at it, it's going to be fine. Um, we do suggest using it every day until the hot spot's gone. Definitely. I've used that on Popeye and immediately he stops chewing or, or even paying attention to that area that he was so fixated on before. Yeah. So it really, it really works and it really works fast, yeah. which I think is important. Hot spots are a constant problem with every breed and mm -hmm. um, they come up all the time. So it's always good to have something on hand that can help, you know, double that. Which product can I use if my dog's nose is dry this winter? So we do have a newer product. This is going to be our Noble Nose. Okay. This is a nose balm for any kind of dry, cracked, you know, uh, the top of their noses. Um, I know our Cavaliers, they get really like dry tops of their noses. You just kind of put this on there. Again, it's kind of like a chapstick. Um, really easy application. Um, it's made with a bunch of different natural oils and it's just going to work to soothe and um, cool that area. Does Noble Pet Company offer any other aromatherapy products in addition to the topical ones? So the aromatherapy pillows are actually a byproduct of my hereditary migraines. Um, and the reason why we did them originally was because uh, the flaxseed that we use in the pillows was actually the only uh, product that was helping us relieve uh, the tension in our, our, our head and also um, kind of lightweight enough to, you know, not be like beady and, and yeah. uh, rough, you know. Yeah. So we put that into our aromatherapy pillows and we mixed it in with our essential oils. So we have, this one is a lavender um, flaxseed aromatherapy pillow. Um, they're double lined, so if your dog does bite through it, um, you're safe until it gets to the other one. The <laughs> other um, And, you know, they're great airplanes, car rides, anything like that where your dog's kind of in your lap. You have different sizes here too and different prints. Yes. Where do you get the the inspiration for um, these amazing patterns and, and amazing colors for all this? The inspiration really just falls in, you know, uh, both Lisa and I are very, you know, uh, creative people and we're very into colors and patterns and, and stuff like that. So whenever we see a really great fabric, we just kind of tried to incorporate that and uh, bring it in and, you know, we, we don't want these to be boring and no. solid <laughs> colors and stuff like that. We want it to be just as, uh, you know, as outgoing and as fun as your dog's personality is, you know, Definitely. and uh, something that kind of matches not only your liking, but, you know, your dog's. Definitely. So that's kind of how we, you know, decorated our little aromatherapy pillows. In addition to the aromatherapy line, does Noble Pet Company offer other products? So these are collars and leads. They are not aromatherapy, but they are uh, photographic. And a lot of them are either photographed by me. Uh, my dad is also a photographer, and he wow. actually shot this one. This is going to be the Blood Moon Eclipse, and I actually oh have gosh. that right here. So that one's, so it's an actual photo wow. that we uh, put on here. And this is seatbelt material, so it's chew proof, it's break proof, oh um, it's, it's really strong, you're not gonna really get through that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we've got these big, I mean, this is a large collar, but right. we've got the big uh, buckle in front and that kind of, it's again, kind of like a seatbelt buckle. You just kind of go like that and you, uh, lock them in. That's not going anywhere. No. <laughs> if you have a question, contact us and we'll be sure to get you the right answer. Call us at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentca.gov. What better way to start off 2017 than trying some Noble Pet Company products? Now, if you missed the adoption segment at the beginning of our show or just want to see the adorable dogs again, here's your recap. Tula is a Chihuahua. She is seven years old. She is good with other dogs and would do best in a home with children over six years old. She's spayed up to date on vaccines, microchipped, and current on dental. She's a very sweet dog with a great personality. She will always be happy to see you if you make her part of your forever family. Kingsley is a three and a half year old fawn horse coat Sharpe. He would do best as an only dog. He's a very loyal dog and can be shy or nervous about new things. 
He would love a forever family. Bunny is between four and five years old. She's a Dogo Argentino mix. She's a very sweet dog and is very playful. She loves her toys and she loves to give hugs. She would be best in a home without other dogs. She loves people and she loves children. She's in boarding and cannot wait to meet her forever family. Cassie is a seven-year-old pit bull mix. She would do best in a home without other dogs, cats, and kids. She is a mellow dog who would love to just hang out on the couch. She loves to go on car rides and would make a great companion. If you were interested in adopting any of these dogs, give us a call at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentca.gov and we can put you in contact with the rescue group. If you want even more Canine Corner, be sure to like our Facebook page and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us here on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Tritanich and this is Popeye Tritanich and we'll see you next time.